welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. And with me today is Matea from the women's tennis team. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. So you have been playing now. This is your second year. You've been playing at Troy. And talk a little bit about that experience and how crazy or how fun it's been for you. It's been really fun. This is my first time playing like a tennis as a team. I always play just by myself. And I was always traveling only with my dad. And having a whole team with me and two coaches, it's just been amazing. And we play a lot of different players, different schools. And it's just, uh, it's been crazy journey, to be honest. Like the whole year, just traveling all the time and playing. And I really enjoyed it. Has it been really difficult to make that adjustment from, you mentioned, you know, being by yourself. Yeah. And now you have to consider like all these other girls and, you know, you have to be a leader sometimes and help them. So has that been like really hard, you know, bringing other people in? Yeah, exactly. Um, at the beginning, yeah, it was, it was really hard. It was just something different. I was lost sometimes. Like, I don't know what to do. How should I act? Should I, like, if I lose, would it affect other players? Or, mm -hmm. But also, like, if I win, it helps all of them. So there's always this balance that I can adjust to. And, yeah, I adjust right now, and I'm feeling good. So you mentioned that when you were playing as a, an individual, you were with your dad. So was your dad coaching you at the time? No, he was just the one who was always traveling with me, just play tournaments. No, he, he, nobody in my family has any <laughs> connection with tennis. Yeah, I'm the only one. So are you the only one that plays sports in your family? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Has that been like inspiring to make them or like any of your younger family members want to play? Uh, I mean, I just had tennis courts really close to my house when I was younger and I just saw it and once I told my dad like, let me try this and I just like it. I never tried any other sport. I just stick to tennis. I tried when I was six first time. So that's it. That's just how <laughs> I started. Well, that's all. I mean, that's fun though. That at least your story is like fun, and you just tried something new. And you actually liked it. Yeah. A lot of people may try something that they hate. So. Yeah, I know a lot of people that try a lot of sports, and they still can't find themselves. And I'm really happy that I found myself like my first choice. Yes. So talk a little bit about the difference in, you know, a lot of people don't know you are from Croatia, and talk yeah. a little bit about that difference from playing over there to coming to the states and playing here. Yeah, the, as I mentioned before, the biggest difference is here tennis is a team sport. I'm playing for college. I'm not playing for myself or my country. I play for my team. And yeah, I mean, uh, my country is really small, so I didn't have the opportunity to play as many tournaments as I wanted and compete that much. And I think that made a big difference in my game because like, if you're just practicing and you don't compete, it doesn't make that much sense. You know, you want to show like mm -hmm. what you've been working on. You want to see how you're getting better and get better results. So I know you, you know, had to get used to having all these new women, but what, what are some fun things that you guys um, have done? Like you did have to change up your game a little bit with having another team, but you did meet a lot of new friends and you made a lot of new relationships. So how fun was that meeting new people and even a new coach now? Yeah, uh, it was really funny. Uh, my team last year and also my team this year, we get along really good. Those are my best friends I have here in Troy. We hang out a lot. One of my teammates actually visited me during summer. She was from Japan mm -hmm. and we had a great time. And uh, my coach is just super supportive. She's really amazing and we get along really well and she's always helping me when she steps on the court. So yeah. So I know you're still getting to know like different cities and different states since, you know, it's just your second year, but so far, what do you feel like has been one of the best places or one of your favorite places to compete at? Uh, my favorite tournament was uh, one of the Mercer because it was my first tournament last year and I won that one actually. <laughs> and this year also I played really good. I lost in semis, but I always play good there. And in season we went there and I also won my match. It was really good. So. I feel there. I feel like I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, you know, there's some type of tradition that you have. Is there any special pregame ritual that you like to do? Do you have to listen to a certain song or wear a certain shirt yeah. or something? Uh, yeah, I like to listen to music before my match. I don't have anything special. I just go there and play. <laughs> I, like, I'm just, I'm really relaxed when I step on the court. I don't worry about anything. I don't worry who's on the other side. Mm -hmm. or like how I feel that day, maybe if I was practicing and I don't know, my forehand wasn't really good. I just step on the court, I play with what I have, 
and that's it. I like to listen to music, and I yeah, I care about my outfit. I'm trying to match. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. So, how do you feel like you've seen a major transition from you as a freshman playing? You know, just getting over here and stepping into some pretty big shoes. You know, you're playing with teams and going all over the place to now, you know, you're doing the same thing, but you've gotten a little bit older. So do you feel like there's been a big change in the way you play? Yeah, definitely feel, uh, I'm in, I've been working a lot, like the whole year about, um, for, to my game to improve. And I think I made, made a big improvement and I'm playing better, I feel better. So we'll see how, when the season starts, will the scores reflect how I feel right now. Absolutely, and you mentioned the season starting, which is, you know, coming up. So how are you preparing and getting ready for this, you know, your second year here? Yeah. Um, right now, we're a pretty young team. We have three sophomores and three, three freshmen. So right now, we're still in the process of figuring out who's going to play what number and who's the mm -hmm. best doubles partner. Like, we're literally at the beginning so we're working on that and of course we focus each one of us to just improve to use this um, fall season since we have only one tournament left and then we just practice so we're trying to just improve as much as we can and start season strong yeah and you said you know you guys are a pretty young team i remember last year we had some powerful seniors so was that you know really hard for you guys losing them and now you guys have to step up in that leadership role, especially you as a sophomore, exactly. and it's just sophomore and freshman, and you've only been here a year, but you still got to be with those other girls and see how they played and some things that they told y'all. So was it difficult losing them and, like, trying to, you know, bounce back from that? Yeah, I mean, they were playing from number one to number four, so obviously it will make a huge change in lineup, and as you said, we, we will need to step up. But as I said, I, I don't have pressure when it comes to that. I'm just trying to do my best whenever I step on the court. Doesn't matter if I play one or I play five. Every position is important. And as I said, we have to win as a team. So everybody needs to do their best. No matter what position, everything is important. So do you or you and the team have any personal goals set for this year? Is there something that you did last year that you're like, hey, I want to do that again, but better, or something that you just feel like you need to work on for this season? Yeah, uh, what happened to me last tournament is actually and it happened to me a lot of times when I'm up, I'm, I'm leading like the whole match and then I need just that like one point or one game to finish it. Mm -hmm. And my match goes up for another two hours when I play third set. So I'm trying to stay more focused and stable and work on my discipline so I can get those matches like done quickly. Mm -hmm. And also I need to uh, improve. I'm working on my movement, my speed since I'm attacker. So I need to be inside the court all the time and pressure the opponent before the opponent pressures me. So those are the kind of things I'm working on right now. So is there a certain team with this upcoming season that you're looking forward to, you know, getting a little revenge against or just somebody you're like, hey, I really cannot wait to play against them? Yeah, definitely South Alabama. They beat us in conference and they're strong this year. I watched them playing tournament in Tuscaloosa. So this is our goal to beat them. And of course, Georgia State's conference championships last year. So those are two teams we're looking forward to playing. And you mentioned, you know, that game against South last season. What do you, got, what do you feel like you guys need to, you know, work on or fix before we get back to their, you know, coming up? Yeah. Uh, I mean, first we need to work on our doubles because it's always easier to start with that double point. It puts you up like you're already up 1-0 instead of being down and then kind of coming back. Yeah. So that's for sure one of the biggest things we need to work out. Doubles and, of course, I mean, singles, you never know. It depends. But everybody needs to do their best their days so we can beat them. So we've been talking about, you know, you playing. What are some things that you're looking forward to do while you're here outside of playing or you know, after graduation, even though that's a while for you, but what are some things that you like to do outside of playing tennis? I mean, to be honest, I don't have a lot of time, but I'm just trying to hang, hang out with my friends, um, maybe just go visit some cities close by, or just when it's warm, I like to go to the pool and just chill, relax, that's it. How often do you get to go back home? Uh, I go home 
twice a year during winter break and okay. over the summer. Okay. And I know it's real difficult to leave again and come back. You know, you get that time with your family, but I'm, I'm sure you cherish every moment with them. Yeah, I'm trying to spend as much time as my family and friends because they always miss me a lot. I talk with them almost every day whenever I have time. And it's always good to be back, but there's a reason I'm here and I'm really grateful that I got this opportunity to be here and play for Troy. So it will all like come together one day after I finish. And you mentioned to me earlier, you know, how you even got to Troy. And I forgot to say that, you know, actually that earlier, but tell a little bit, tell your story about how you even made it to the United States. Okay, so um, my coach, Josipa, she was playing from Clemson University and she knew Scott, the men's coach from last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, my coach, Ravia, she was looking for new players and Josipa recommended me and that's it. We just made a Skype call. I sent her a video and she recruited me. Which I still think that's amazing. You guys were Skyping back and forth and I'm sure you never yeah. would have thought, hey, I, I just wanted to try this. And now look at you, you know, you're here, this is your second year and you've been having a great career here. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't, I mean, I was thinking about playing college tennis because Josipa mentioned me, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it would happen that soon, like <laughs> two months after she mentioned it first time and after I start to have some vision, of, oh look, maybe I should do that. And then I just got a conversation, I was just, okay, let's go, I'm coming, I'm all in. Well, I'm so glad you're here once again. And we thank you so much for all the work that you've been doing for the Troy program and best of luck to you this season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay tuned for what's coming up next in Trojan Sports.